What's going on, everybody? So, um, just continuing on with our daily devos. And this one isn't super well thought through, but I um, personally am studying and reading in my own walk right now. First Corinthians, and then I came across this book. And um, yeah, I just want to share my thoughts because I thought this was really interesting. And so we're talking about things that are undefeated because of Jesus. And we're in this weird time, right? We're all stuck inside. We're all stuck in this um, in this world with things going on that we that prevent us from going and doing things we would most likely do if this wasn't happening. So I want to talk about passivity, passivity, passiveness, passivity, being defeated because of Christ, right? So that's kind of my thought. Let me read this. Verse, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 and 2. Now, brothers and sisters, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and on which you have taken your stand. By this gospel you are saved. If you hold firmly to the word I preached to you, otherwise you have believed in vain. And I think that's a reminder for us. Like We um, have taken up this gospel, this good news, and we um, live by it. We stand on the gospel, the good news of Jesus, his resurrection, his dying for our sins. Um, and then our response is to go and to bring that to the nations, right? The Great Commission, we are called to go and to make disciples of all nations, baptize in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, right? And we've got um, Paul doing this. He's setting the example. He's going. He's writing letters. He's doing these mission trips. He's doing all these things. Um, and he is far from passive because of what Jesus does in life. Paul doesn't just sit there and let people go on without knowing. Instead, he goes and he... He reaches out to the nations. He's going across the known world at the time to to uh, make Lord known that the Lord can do crazy things in their lives. And then this book that I highly recommend is called Why Revival Terries by Lynn Ravio. He's dead, but he was awesome. He's with, hopefully with our Lord now. But it's a book on prayer. And so just doing this prayer talk thing, just diving into prayer in my own life right now. Um, Leonard, my, my boy Leo, he says... This was written a while ago, so this number is probably lower than it is t today. Almost a million persons in the world die each week without Christ. Is this nothing to you? And like, ouch! You know, that is a dagger. Like, is the fact that people are dying in, in crazy qu quantities without knowing Christ, does that matter to us? And the answer should be yes. Like, that should absolutely matter to us. And it should cause us to go and act. And because of what Jesus has done, passivity, us being passive and, and just letting the world around us and letting people do their thing and, and squander in their own brokenness, that should be defeated. That should end. And so for me, like that is a motivational question. Like Millions of people are dying each week without knowing Christ. And so am I okay with that? Does that sit well with me? Like Absolutely not. And so what do I do about that now? Now I, I go and I try to make disciples. I try to remind, or not even remind, but tell people for the first time the goodness of Jesus. That, that may not be. So that his kingdom would grow and become larger and more grand for the glory of God. So that's my thoughts for today. I hope y'all are doing good in the midst of this weird time. But no, praying about y'all, thinking about y'all. We'll see you later.